guys welcome back to my channel this is Tiffany and I wanted to come on today and show you um, a few flip throughs of a couple of books that I just recently got um, this first book here 50 animal mandalas color by number by Sachin Sach Deva was kindly given to me by Sachin and for review and I only have one other book of his and it was the uh, Christmas Mandala color by number and I really liked this book during the Christmas season so I reached out to him and asked him if he would send me this book because this one really the mandala with the animals and all the flowers this one really interests me out of a lot of his other books so he so kindly sent this to me so I thought today I would do a flip through for you guys. So 50 animals in here. And the first one up is an elephant with all kinds of pretty flowers behind it. Here's a tiger, I would say. A giraffe. Antelope, maybe? With the horns. Oh, this one's really pretty. A wolf. Koala, I would say. A koala bear. Oh, wait, that's a koala bear. Must be some animal I don't really know. <laughs> Such pretty pictures, though. I love all the flowers around them. Oh, look at that hippopotamus. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. They're single-sided, and as you can see, you get the all the colors that you're going to need. There's 16 colors total. Um, that's the complete palette, so it's an easy amount to find. No weird colors, like five or six oranges you have to figure out. Sloth. Lion with some roses it looks like around. A ram. These I mean these should be pretty quick. You could use your alcohol markers, your super tips. I'll show you I did one in here. Oh a zebra with my super tips. And it came out really cute. I really liked it. Kitty cat. Turkey. Okay, so here's one that I did that you can see is colored. I did this with my super tips, and there's a little bit of sparkly gel pen. I don't know if you can see that. But um, so I ended up doing actually more colors than they asked for. So if it asked for violet, I did two different shades of violet. If it asked for red, two different shades of red, two different shades of orange, two different shades of dark green and light green so I kind of made it probably way more colorful than it needed to be but I just wanted to put tons of color down and I really do like how that came out here's another big sea turtle a couple of parrots some seahorses an owl Octopus, a pug. Now this is what I saw and was like, I've got to have this. It's got a pug in it. You know, I love pugs. We used to have a pug. Um, flamingo. His knee cute. Is that a llama? I think that might be a llama. Panda bear. Oh, look at that. Looks like a leopard. Butterfly, and a ram, I think that might be an eagle or an owl, dog, there's a do another doggy, a monkey, mm, don't those eyes look a little freaky, a gorilla, a cow, <laughs> another gorilla, a crab. So we got 
Definitely some sea creatures. A bat. Oh my gosh. A frog. Pig. Spider. Oh my gosh. Uh, had to hurry up and change that one. A squirrel. Toucan. That looks like a duck. Another little bird. Oh, she looks cute. Cute little bird. And then that's the end. And then he has a few pages about um, other coloring books he has. Um, a color chart sheet. A couple of them. Quite a few of them. And a color test. It says, breathe, let go, and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure. Oprah Winfrey. Huh, a quote from Oprah Winfrey is in here. It's kind of interesting. And so here's what the back looks like. So there's some pictures, samples. And then here's your color palette for reference. Inspired from nature, the book is filled with 50 wild animals decorated with exotic and majestic flowers. Explore your inner side and immerse yourself in the coloring, the pages, and bring out the positive vibes within yourself. So true. So that was 50 Animal Mandalas Color by Number by Sachin Sachdeva. Another one I want to flip through is the beloved Disney Princess book. Oh my god, I was could not wait for this to come in the mail, you guys. I love every single picture that is in this book. And these are expensive books. I, The amount of money that I paid for this book, I'm like, I better work in it a lot. That part's a little damaged there. but So it's got a nice flap here and a nice inside cover. And this is all in French, so I have no idea what it says. Um, here's one that I did already. This was my first one done out of here, and I think she came out really cute. Um, I used my Crayola Super Tips and my Stedletter 320s, which I'm sure I'll use for majority of these pictures in here. Um, I started with this page because if you notice, this page is so tiny. I mean... These have some really detailed images in it, people. If this is going to be your first book from Hatchet Heroes, I suggest getting a magnifying glass because these are some of these are so hard and so detailed to see. This one wasn't as bad. There are ones in here that are much better. Like if you can see this one, this one's not bad. But some of these are so detailed. Maybe you could even use your fine liner since there's such small spaces. I don't know. But anyway, so I'll show you if you don't if you don't want to see what the images look like, the completed pages, don't watch now because I'm going to show you all the finished images that are in here. There's a hundred of them. So you can see we've got Moana. And there's the one I did. Another Moana one, an Ariel, and Pocahontas. I mean, I just love the, the background colors of all of these. It's another Jasmine. Merida. Look at these pictures, guys. I even like the pictures of the castles. <laughs> I don't know. I just love every single image that's in here. It's going to take me a long time to do 
hundred images. I'll be working on this one for a while. But it's just so... Such a pretty book. I, honestly, I don't think there's a single picture in here that I don't like. Some of the other books have big blocky characters with not very many colors. I mean, the colors that they chose from the images are just beautiful, beautiful color palettes. I think that's one of the reasons I like it the best too. If you want me to do a uh, speed coloring in one of these in this book or any of these books I show you today let me know and I can probably try and do that look at the background on that one oh so cute so cute Oh, I know I say that a lot, but I swear to God, guys, it, it, this was definitely worth the money I paid. And I got it in, I mean, what, two weeks? I think they shipped it on the 18th, and I got it on the 1st, so yeah, that's like two weeks. And I did not go on, I'll tell you, I did not go on Amazon France. I was going to, but then... um when I saw the cost of the shipping in the book, it was going to be about the same anyway as what I would have ordered it on the uh, USA version of Amazon. And the, I went through, a shop name was Dorian's Day, which was obviously all French, so it was a French shop that I went through. And yeah, two weeks. I got it in two weeks. No shipping, no extra shipping cost, but the book itself was expensive. But like I said, it would have been the same anyway. Even if I paid for shipping. So I definitely recommend Dorian Day Shop on Amazon for any of these Hatchet Hero books. I would definitely order from them again. Almost done here, guys. We're getting down to the last few images. And then we got another flap here with some writing. I don't know what that's for. Maybe put the ones you've completed or colors on there. And then that's what the back looks like. So that was Disney Princess Coloriage Magique by Hatchet Heroes. And the last book I have to show you guys today is this Flowers and Gardens Color by Number book by Color Questopia. Now this one, Color Questopia, reached out to me and asked me if I would like this book. To be honest, I was a little disappointed. I had asked for the white background and they gave me black background. I do not like their black background books. I really wish they had given me the white background book, but... Maybe I won't color in this and I will save it for a giveaway on my channel down the road. Um, but if you go check out Lauren at Lauren Loves Color, I believe is her name. I'll put her link below. She has done some in this book and she actually did a collaboration with Color Questopia to change things up a bit. So I suggest you go look at her video over there and see the different changes she has made to this book compared to the old books. So, but I'll just do a quick flip through of the book.
And that's it. There's the end. And I think there's probably some sample pages in the back like they usually do. what the back looks like so a more simplified color key which is nice we don't have all those colors like they did in their older books so that's it people that's what I've got to show you today I hope you I hope you liked this um, reviews and flip throughs that I showed you please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video thanks guys bye